Biggest lie? Yeah, it would have to be the fucking U.S. government, actually. Ooh. Cause y'all been lied to Google lied to you Facebook lied to you On the biggest lies of the US government um, It's not what it used to be Now it's a fucking reality show And uh, I think there's gonna be a lot of weird shit that happens Within our lifetime and within our generation That that really changes the, the way of the world I ain't here to massage you With a fake truth then you wake up, you still can't believe it. You know why? Because you was lied to by Google. You was lied to by Mark Zuckerberg. All them are just puppets. You think the government and the politicians are puppets? Hey, we're going to start pointing the finger anyway at all the fake hip-hop shit. When we say the fake hip-hop shit, we talking about the government. Where's the music going? It's going to get harder. Shit, I don't know, it depends on niggas' balls, you know, if niggas got big nuts like me, it's gonna get way harder. But shit, if niggas got little nuts, it's gonna start getting back to a different type of rap, you know what I'm saying? Partying and fucking and all of that type of shit, because that's what we talk about when they don't let us talk about what we really want to talk about. But yeah, I, I explained the chain reaction of like rappers talking about that negative shit, popping mollies, turning up, doing all that stupid shit. I just want to have a conversation about how we playing radio's game. The radio stations are going, you know what, let's play this because it's going to fuck these people's minds up. Radio, fuck you! Not fuck the people that work in radio. Because these is real people that gotta feed their kids. And they not being allowed to play that real shit. I feel like if a, ra if a radio station goes, we're not gonna play that because it's gospel. So a rapper can go, I'm turning up, I'm smoking, I'm drinking, I'm doing this, I'm fucking in the club, doing whatever. They can say that, but they can't. you can't say God, you can't talk about God. Radio lied to you! Radio fucked you! The government brainwash our people with the mind control theory. That's what they do. So they make sure our people like it. They keep playing that same song. The same song keep playing, you, program, you start to like it. You start program. to get with it. Listen to the words that people say in their lyrics and tell me if that's some real sh if that's real to you. You know what I mean? Listen to what they saying. Don't just bob your head to the beat. Peep the game. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? The government. Yeah, and then run up on me talking about keep it real. Don't run up on me say keep it real if you ain't supporting the real. What I want people to know is that don't, don't support the phonies. Support the real. Like sometimes I start to think like the hip hop audience ain't that intelligent sometimes, you know? But they don't pick up on it because they let the, the corniest shit get the most airplay. You know what I mean? The 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 most unconscious shit get the most airplay. People want to hear conscious shit. I never got to a point where I'm like, I don't want to be smart no more. I don't want to hear music that motivates me. Obviously that I have to sidestep my youth to, to stand up and do some shit that somebody else is supposed to be doing. Because it ain't my turn yet. I'm supposed to be following behind him getting the knowledge. You got, you got two different types of people. The people that are like, you know, that doesn't make sense. Like, explain that to me. You got people like that. Don't turn those people away. And then you got some people that are just like, this is stupid. They don't have the vocabulary or the knowledge to express themselves. If you let yourself become entangled with those people, then you're just letting the same negative parasitic entity feed off of your energy and siphon off your energy that's using them. Feelings matter, bro. Feelings matter. I'm not saying this out of my own well-being. I've been sent here to give y'all the truth. It's finally being disclosed. It's coming out. That's why all these people are trying to get this information out about the pedo gate. All this information coming out about the sex trafficking, the organ, organ trafficking. We in the time of disclosure. Everybody is risking their lives to put this information out. I am putting my career, my life, my public well standing at risk when I talk to y'all like this. It's too much money here. I mean, nobody should be hitting Lotto for 36 million and we got people starving in the streets. That is not idealistic, that's just real. We are all great people. We are all equal, but sometimes we be playing the politics too much and forgetting who we are. There's no way that these people should own planes and their people don't have houses, apartments, shacks, drawers, pants. 
I know you're rich. I know you got $40 billion, but can you just keep it to one house? You only need one house. And if you only got two kids, can you just keep it to two rooms? I mean, why have 52 rooms and you know there's somebody with no room? It just don't make sense to me. It don't. And then these people celebrate Christmas. They got big trees, huge trees, all the little trimmings. Everybody got gifts and it's my star. And they're having a white Christmas. They're having a great Christmas. Eggnog and the whole nine. That's not fair to me. I'm not trying to be the man. I just am a man. The same as everybody here. I ain't above, below, none of y'all. We all equal. We all equal. Feelings matter, bro. I was hurt. The way motherfuckers put money up so high. Popularity, radio spins. We don't need no more rappers, we don't need no more basketball players, no more football players, we need more thinkers, we need more scientists, you know, we need more managers, we need more mathematicians, we need more teachers, we need more people who care, we need more, you know what I'm saying, we need more women, mothers, fathers, we need more of that, we don't need any more entertainers. There was a home invasion uh, that was targeting Post Malone. Why JFK? Should have got JFK on your forehead. <laughs> Why I JFK? I just think he was a real one. Really the only president to really speak out against the crazy corruption stuff that's going on in our government nowadays. Racism. And I don't want to... Yeah. Weird stuff. Like, JFK was killed by us. You know, I think he was a real guy. I think he was a real American, and he loved this country, and he spoke out, and days later he died. Most people who him. helped the poor and disenfranchised in America end up getting assassinated in some way. I mean, it's form. a trend. You vote for Trump? I didn't vote. Making a political stand, or mm, I did, our votes don't count. Our, <laughs> our votes vote count, sir. No, our votes. Our votes are suggestions to the electoral college. That's all it is. So they can vote who for whoever. Trust me, this is this is what's real, and all that other shit is to control you. The the shift is happening, and it ain't gonna be pretty, but it's got to get ugly, and that's what's happening. The disclosure. What is the, the Illuminati? Like in the 1700s, this dude named Adam Weishaupt, he started this group of like powerful, rich people that shape popular opinion and the way the world is going to move forward. The word means like the illuminated ones. Light is like information. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you see the light now. Even the Illuminati, the 13 bloodlines, that run the world. This you can look up the 25 banks that own ev everything. Nigga, everything? Nigga, everything. Well, even Illuminati's puppets. By the next election, I promise I'm gonna be sitting across from all the candidates. I bet you. You know how I'll be making it? I promise you. I'm gonna be so far from where I am now in four years. God willing, I'm alive. It's on, I guarantee you. That's really what the Illuminati is on. That's why I put the K to it. Right. I want, the niggas is telling me about this Illuminati shit while I'm in jail. And I'm putting the K because I'm killing that Illuminati shit. Uh, Trust me. To take the, um, the discipline, the seriousness, and the bond that the mob has, to take the um, enthusiasm, the morals, the principles that the Black Panthers had, and the strength that the Black Panthers had, to take the camaraderie and the, um, go all out, we'll die for you, um, all of us as a team that the police have to take um, the nation is first attitude, whatever we got to do to be number one that United States take, and I'm that's what makes me unstoppable. And take that nigga attitude that that makes me look at all of that shit, study it and learn it. Take the the young African American to have the talent to exhibit it. You know what I mean? And take the businessman, take the president, to take the philosopher to be able to break it down into an actual philosophy. Right, right. And that's what Columinati is. And that's what Columinati. It's life. We got a hundred years on this planet, bro, and we can have a utopia. We can love each other. You got this power that people call God. There's many names for it. Allah. God, the creator, the most high, but that power is like, it's one force, right? It's one God force, and we are given free will to do what we want with that power. You can use that power for good, and then you can use that power for evil too, but there's only one power. You know, so when people say the God and the devil, no, nah, there's only one, but you can use that force. That's what these people are playing with, that energy that exists out here that we all have access to. And that's what Columinati is. And that's what Columinati is.